Good morning guys and welcome back to the vlog and welcome back to a very chilly Baddy Island. It is absolutely freezing again. My fingers are like ice cubes, but we're not going to let that deter us. We've got this beautiful ride here in the background. Look at these two. Look at that. It's insane, isn't it? Um, there's a few things I want to show you here and Henry wants to have a word too. So uh, let, let's get on with the video. Now we've got a very popular ride that has been here for the last few years. That's arrived back on the park. Lots of people have asked me if this ride would be coming back. Um, and there's also some other very exciting ride news that people have been asking me about. And yeah, it's, 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 it's all brilliant, mate. Brilliant news. First of all, I want to show you these. These are the brand new cars. They were supposed to arrive the same time as the new Dodgem, but the cars arrived first. But look at them. Absolutely beautiful. All brand spanking new. The colours are amazing. I love the colours. And look how similar all the colours are to the new rides that they're having. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. And they look amazing lit up. They really do. And this is the ride that's back. It's been here the last few years, the Orbiter. A very popular ride, people love it. And uh, yeah, it's back on the park. I'm so excited about that. And this section of the top scan you've already seen, I showed you around this, uh, but look at this. Look at that. Now, so many people were asking me, is the whole of top scan being refurbished? And yes, it is, it is. They're actually doing this on Bally Island. And this is where they're at, look at that. Looks amazing, mate, looks absolutely amazing. You know, I can't, I can't emphasise how, how good a job they're doing on the, on the painting. You know, these guys, it's awesome. It's absolutely brilliant. Look at that. that brand spanker, mate, looks, doesn't it? Only one in the UK. Only one in the UK, mate. So that's two rides here at Barry Island Pleasure Park. So that's Top Scan and Aerospace. Two rides, only ones in the UK. That is absolutely amazing. But as you can see, guys, it's all ongoing. And uh, there's all the lights to do and everything. It's, it's looking absolutely lush, absolutely lush. Now, so many people have asked me, am I excited to ride this thing again? No, I'm not. And I probably won't, I'll be honest with you. But never say never. And I'm not excited about riding that, that's for sure. But I'm very excited to have Orbiter back. And I know lots of you people are too. But also, Henry got some news about another ride. See you on this nice, crispy morning in Barry. Good morning, Henry. <laughs> Hey, how are we? Are we all I'm good? all good. I'm all good. Thank you very much. That's what we like here. That's it. What's the latest then, Henry? What? what well, uh... just, this has just come back. This is a top scan. It's been completely refurbished. We want to bring it into a very high standard because it's the only one left in the UK. It is a thrill ride. It is a white knuckle ride and people love it and they'll come to ride it. They're coming to Barry now more than ever because of the show we're putting on. We've got Quite a few new rides coming here. We've got a new Dodge and we've got a new type freak out coming, and we've got another ride being made. So yeah, there's a lot of action, a lot of new things that's coming for this season. Not in complete control when they're going to arrive, but we hope they'll be all here before the annual school holiday. Right, so that's, that's great news. A lot to look forward to, and the thrill rides is coming here. Well. We said we'd make it the best in Wales and we're getting there and I think we've achieved it. And now we're moving on to, because of the amount of inquiries and people coming in from all over the world to come to Barry for these rides, because we've got some unusual rides. We've got, as you know, the aerospace, the only one in the UK. And it is a thrill ride. People see it on the internet and they want to come and ride it. And they, we have constant phone calls to say, where can we stay in Barry? They don't want to just come from there. Obviously, they're coming from a very long way. I mean, even Russia, we have inquiries from there. And people want to be able to stay in Barry. Well, that's where we've taken this to another level and bought the ground in Mays Road. And we're open to make something of that, which I'll give you a few details. If you want to come down and talk about it, actually on the site. We're on the site. This is the new development. It's stage two of Barry Island. There's um, quite a lot behind this site. As you know, for some time we've been looking for accommodation on a large scale for Barry Island to be able to cope with the amount of interest that the fairgrounds created, not just in England, Wales, Ireland, Scotland, but um, through the world, around the world. We've got people ringing us from America, New Zealand, that because we've got the, some of the biggest rides, thrill rides in the world here at Barry, they want to come and ride it, but they can't just come for the day, they want a fortnight or a month's holiday 
So that's bringing a lot of people into Wales, which is good for Wales. What's good about this site, it's a rough derelict site and I've not been used for about 70 years. And it's without a doubt, it's an eyesore, it's a mess. As you can see, we're, we're cleaning it up now and then we've still got quite a long way to go. But at the end of the day, my ambition and dream is to make this one a credit to Barry and to Wales. And what this site will do, it will bring a lot of employment. To run this site on the scale it is, it will probably be around maybe as many as 50, might be more. This is a, a starters. So we don't know where we'll end with it. But where we're going to start is to hopefully get permission on this site to have it for holiday accommodation of log cabins, even down to the metal containers, which the council did down where they got those railway carriages, which I think looks absolutely lovely. It, it's well appreciated, it's well done, and it is a credit to Barry. Well, I want this to be a credit to Barry and to myself and to my family. And as you can see, we have made a start on it, but we've still got a long way to go. But may, most of all, to be able to make this possible, we need the help of the council to give us permission to turn this from a mess into something that's going to be very special for Wales. And I think we're there working together with them. We can make this a credit to Wales and we can bring the people from back from England back to Wales to come and enjoy what we've created on the island and somewhere to stay and to see the beauty of Wales. When I was a boy, it was all about coal mines and the Labour Party. The coal mines are gone, thank God we still got the Labour Party. But now it's coming to leisure. And I think a lot of people that live in Barry or around in Wales, they just take it for granted. But people from England that come and see this, they want to come back and stay. In the last 10 years, since 10 seasons we've been running Barry Island, our success has got stronger and stronger and stronger. And now we're building more and more rides there. Uh, even now we've got three new rides coming hopefully for this season. Though it, last year we had two or three new rides. We've never stopped investing in Barry. And I can honestly say it's paid off because where we're in a position to develop this if the island wasn't successful for us, or we didn't make it successful, we wouldn't be standing here now talking about phase two, how we can push on Wales a little bit farther and bring people back to Wales that over the years prior to me buying it, it did have a bit of a rough time, it wouldn't love very much, and people chose to go to England, to Walton Towers. I mean, when I was a boy, there was no Walton Towers, no Drayton Manor, no Breen Park. There were none of these phases existed then, but of course they exist now. And if we're going to be as good as them, but I want to be better than them, we have to have something like this. And I just hope that people can see it, understand it, and let's go forward working together to make Wales a better place for people to come. Fantastic. Can I ask you a few questions yeah, that people have, uh, uh, some concerns from people? Uh, the land is uh, close to T Avon Children's Hospice, yes. and they're concerned that, about the noise. Uh, what, what's, your, what's your thoughts on that, Henry? Well, I, I think it, it, it's because they they don't know. It, it, it's the uncertainty that they don't know about that's probably frightening them. But as far as noise is concerned, we operate caravan parks, and there's a lot of caravan. Uh, well, this is something different. This is log cabin. This is one stage up from what they've got a lot in Wales but as far as I know my caravan sites I don't think I've ever had any problems with noise and I think caravan parks on a the whole there must be hundreds of parks throughout Wales and I've never heard of one being a nuisance from noise so if it isn't there we're not going to create it I mean you know it's something that I can honestly say it's never been brought to my attention before Fun fairs are slightly different. This isn't a fun fair. We've already got the fun fair on Ireland. This is accommodation for the tourists and people that want to come to Wales. That's what we're doing here. And as far as the, the school's concerned, well, the, 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 the one up Penarth last year, that's for the, the disabled children. And we, we worked very much with them. Last year, we gave them two free days on the fun fair where there were thousands of children. Yes, I remember that. Enjoyed it. 
we, we will work with them and we will help them. Because that's what we do, and not just in Wales, but we've got amusement parks in England and the Birmingham uh, Burn Unit. We, we give them a free day in, in our amusement parks. Anybody that's sadly worse off than ourselves, I feel a pleasure to help them. I get a certain amount of pleasure out of helping these people that's not as fortunate as myself and other people in my family that we're all gratefully, uh, we, we, we appreciate good help. And the ones that isn't not so lucky, well, we'll go out of our way to help them. Okay, okay. Um, and and there's, a, there's, um, there's a woods between this land and the hospice. Will that be staying there? Yeah, that wood belongs to me. We will, we, we, that, 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 there are no plans on it. If anybody's ever at doubt of what we're doing, I, I'm, I'm always available to talk to one or, or many. If, there, if there's any doubt, they're uncertain about anything that we're doing, we'll be very pleased to tell them. But it's going to be just quite simply a part where people can enjoy and they want the quiet. We're not, we're not here to put a fun fair here. We've already got that. This is to, 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 to help that on its way where people can come and stay and enjoy what we created on Barry Island. Because it's terrific, it's great. It's, it, it's the, definitely the best amusement park in the whole of Wales. And it's got the best rides of some of them in the world. And that's why people want to come here. And that's why we need this development as quickly as possible. Okay, and, and will you cater for, you know, camping maybe or? Yeah, we'll, we'll uh, and, and all that. People yeah, in, in on, camper on vans. Site, we got campers, tourists. Yeah, all that will be av available on this site. That's fantastic, Henry. Well managed, and we have experience because I've been running caravan sites for well over sixty years. Wow, That's so fantastic! We've got some, no don't you, you've got afraid. some knowledge. There won't be noise. There won't be that problem because we will place it well. Whatever we operate, we like to do it to the best of our ability, and the better we do it, the better I like it. And my family and my friends, we're all tired with the same brush. We like it better than when anybody else can do it. The view will take your breath away. There's some great times ahead. It's been an eyesore, a derelict site. Now there can be, it'll give pleasure to so many. If we're allowed to do it, the pleasure and the memories of this site is endless. And when you come to Barry Island and you stay on this site, you'll remember it. We'll be making history, you'll want to remember it because you'll have such a good time. The fairground speaks for itself, it's the best in Wales. This, we'd like to make sure this is the best in Wales. So we're, it's a no-brainer. We're all winners. Help me, support me, and you'll benefit from it. And that's just not the people in Barry, but I'm speaking to the whole of Wales. Because when they come for a fortnight, they won't be every day on the fun fair. They'll have a day, they go to Cardiff, they go to Newport, they'll go to Port Paul, they go somewhere. But we have to have this place for them to come as a meeting point. Fantastic. I think that's about all. That's I, it. I, I, that's it. Meeting. Thank you so much, Henry. I appreciate that. And look, guys, they have already started. Look, this is what it was all like. See this here? How dense that is behind me, right? You couldn't get through there if you wanted to, right? But look, the, 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 look. Behind me here now. Well, they've cleared that there. This is a quarter of a mile, guys, that way. Because we're, we're actually on the border here now. It's, it's quite a mad to be here, really, because when we were the other side of that fence, I thought it would be a long time before I'd be able to stand this side of the fence. Because, like I say, it was just such dense woodland and, 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 and wasteland. Um, and as you can see, they, they're doing a great job. They're clearing this, and uh, they've, they've cleared this area here. It is insane, guys. It's this, this plot of land is absolutely insane. It's absolutely huge. I know there's a lot of people who are concerned about having a campsite next to T Avon, but Henry is mindful of that. And he, he, we've always talked about that. I mean, we spoke about that when he, when he was first interested in the land. And he said he would always be very sensitive to that. But I want to show you, this land doesn't go right up to T Avon. There is a wooded area in between the two. As we come back out now onto the slipway here, uh, um, I'm going to take you to the end of this, guys. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about with that woodland. So this is where I'm talking about. This is where the site will end. Um, Henry actually owns this woodland too, but he assures me that this woodland is not going to be touched. And as you can see, it's quite a dense woodland between Tiavan. You can see Tiavan there in the background. And Henry wants to assure you 
that whatever happens along this section here, between here and Tiavan, they will be very mindful of noise that is created. And it's like Henry said, they're not, they, this is just going to be for accommodation. It's not going to be for uh, any fun fair. There's not going to be any noise in that, in that respect. Another thing I've been thinking about as far as the land goes and, and, and Tiavan, I mean, this, this land here that Henry's just bought, the planning permission for this at the moment is light industrial. I, I think it'll be a lot less noisy if, it's a, if it is a site where people stay. And, and let's not forget, people are not going to be here through the day. People will be traveling, you know, throughout Wales and, and they're not going to be spending time here through the day. It's only somewhere that they'll spend time in, in the evenings and stay through the night. But if this was turned into industrial, which is actually has planning permission for, then I think the noise would be a lot worse. And if you carry on along the path that I'm walking along, guys, look, you've got farmland, farmland either side. It's beautiful. It's a very, very beautiful location. Good morning, Mr. Sheep. They haven't got a lot to say for themselves. The difference from the front. Look at that. Look how much they've cleared there, look. It's insane, mate. They don't hang around, that's for sure. There's this new sign here, like, warning, do not block entrance, 24 hour access for heavy goods. Henry Danta. So guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't get lost or squashed. And we'll speak more soon. Bye.